Hey guys, Tony Gerard for Shawnee College Science in Seconds. I'm here in the yard of board member Steve Heisner in Karnak, Illinois because of this particular tree. And this is a really cool and special tree. I bet you've never seen one. I don't know. But when we look at this, there's a nut and it looks kind of like a walnut. And actually this tree is sometimes called a white walnut, but the more common name is a butternut. And it's called that because the, the nut, which is kind of like a walnut, it's in the walnut family, has a rich buttery flavor. It's a good nut to eat. Uh, the wood was used in a lot of furniture and historically butternut was used to dye a lot of things. Um, the holes, the inner bark, the roots, pretty much every part of the tree I've read at some point was used for dyeing. Um, in movies and paintings, sometimes you see Confederate soldiers not wearing gray, but a kind of uh, yellowish brown. That's butternut. Uh, it used to be a very, very common tree. But then years ago, uh, aside from being cut for timber, uh, we got a disease, butternut canker and it pretty much wiped out butternuts at least all over Southern Illinois. This is the only one that I'm aware of anywhere in Southern Illinois. And it was planted, Steve told me, sometime in the 1930s. Now butternuts aren't particularly long-lived trees. About 70 years is about their lifespan. So this tree may be getting toward the end of its natural lifespan, but it doesn't show any signs of butternut canker and it's got an abundant crop of nuts this year. So we're gonna take some of these and see if we can uh, germinate some. It could be that this is the, the butternut that's resistant to butternut canker that reestablishes butternut throughout Southern Illinois. Let's hope so, how cool would that be?